Hey everybody, welcome to Big Balloon Nation, inflationanimationengineer.com, where we teach you how to twist balloons, love STEM, and engineer winners for success. Happy birthday! Actually, it's usually Merry Christmas, but oh, it's my one of my favorite cartoons. It starts with Happy Birthday! Do you know which one that is? That's right. It's Frosty the Snowman. Today, I want to talk to you about how to make a balloon snowman. What does a latex balloon, a foil balloon, and electricity have in common? Because you don't plug a balloon in and it doesn't come on like a light bulb. So what could they possibly have in common? See there's actually two types of balloons. There's a latex balloon like this round balloon. And those are the most common balloons. They usually come in several sizes, like five inch balloons, nine inch balloons, 11 inch balloons, even 36 inch balloons. If you are look at the, the door in the room you're sitting in right now, that door is about 36 inches. That is a very big balloon. There's also long skinny balloons, like the one that I use on my hat. This is normally a 268 balloon, which is two inches round and 60 inches long. But you see, latex balloons, the most common balloon, they harvest the latex from the rainforest, which is environmental friendly because trees release oxygen for us to breathe. And it also, if they were to pop, they decompose at the same rate as an oak leaf in your backyard. It doesn't mean that we just leave them there because we don't leave litter and trash. We pick them up. But if we were to have a little bit of char, it decomposes just like it would if a char of uh, no cleaf in your backyard. So what is a foil balloon? Uh, some people call them a mylar balloon or a, um, a metallic balloon. This is actually a foil balloon. It's more expensive and it costs more because of the design. So you can make a face on this. This one has the chevron design on it so they can print it with a lot of different things. It could be a message. It could just say have a good day. But it comes with more colors more pictures, more possibilities. They can print on them and they usually just last longer. But what about safety? Safety is a big deal because when you have a, a line with a balloon like a, a, a foil balloon with, a, with helium in it, it can go up into the sky and it can actually get into the power line, which is pretty dangerous. And the reason is because a foil balloon conducts electricity. And if it were to do, get into the power line, did you know that it can actually cause a surge of electricity, which can short circuit the equipment and actually cause a power outage, start a fire, or even injure somebody. So it's very important that if you actually have a balloon that's a foil balloon, or a latex balloon for that matter, that you never release it just to go in the air. Because one, it causes trash and pollution because it doesn't just go up into the sky and never comes back down. And if it actually gets involved in the power lines, it can actually be dangerous. So it's not just about twisting balloons, but it's about love and STEM and un understanding all of the different things that STEM and balloons can affect in science, technology, engineering, and math. I love balloons, I love STEM, and I love talking to you about science, technology, engineering, and math, and how you can become an inflation animation engineer. Go to your library, go, to, go online, go to inflationanimationengineer.com and read about all of the different possibilities that you can do with a balloon. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Until next time, keep looking up, you'll see more. See you soon.